Okay, today we are, well, I'm reviewing the power perspective for you. This is an oracle deck that comes with 40 cards. It retails for $30, $29.99 on Amazon. And I think it's only currently sold in the U.S. And it has the little clasp and the metal clasp. I have never seen a box like this. This presentation is cute. On point. That's the guidebook. This is the inside of it. These are the cards. So yeah, and it comes with the 96, uh, 96 page guidebook. And these cards don't have the meanings printed on them. This deck is really, really using your intuition with this. They, they do provide them, their meanings in here. But they really push that they want you to use your intuition to look at the picture and, you know, what are you seeing, you know. And I think it would be ten times better, like, if you're probably doing a reading, you're picking up on that person's energy and the card. So, yeah. So, you just, it's the same with traditional tarot. Like, if you pulled it this way, you would read it in reverse. Read it upright if you pulled it that way. This is card number two. So yeah, I was drawn to this because of the colors and I love art. I love to paint in my spare time. It's card number three. And I have never heard of this artist. I hope I'm saying her name right. It's Amy Chase. And the words are by Amanda Rhodes. Oh, yeah when working with this deck you know just look at the images and feel the vibration of your deck because you know you got to connect with it and once you've gone through the cards because you know that's the standard for every deck go through each card and try to you know connect with it in your own way a lot of times you can take it and you know hold them up against your heart and set your intentions And like I said, I, I always say, as long as your intentions are right and pure, you can't go wrong. You'll, you'll get the answers that you seek. And with any Oracle deck, it's, that's great for beginners. Because you're tapping into your own intuition. You know, so set those intuitions, like putting it to your heart and saying a prayer or however you do it, you know. There are a multitude of symbols depicted on each card so there's a limit the the possibility sorry it's limitless you know when reading this deck because like 10 let's see upright i'm just gonna read a few of the words it's like it's meaning embarrassment feeling alone no support is around you in reverse it's uh rely on your guides Mir miracles occur when you relax this is 11 so yeah there are a multitude of symbols depicted on each card you know there are limitless possibilities when reading this deck and this seems like a fun deck I haven't had the opportunity to work with it yet I'm just reviewing it right now as I'm flipping through it now this is my first time flipping through this deck Like, I ordered a whole bunch, a whole box of decks, and they're just, they've been sent for like a month. <laughs> I, have, I haven't had time to get to it, so I'm trying to do them all right now. It's card 17.
Yeah, and she even says that you can read it from side to side, you know, however you are led to do it. That's how you it's supposed to be done. Then. Yeah, and I think I said that the disc deck is $30. So yeah. And I've never heard of this printing company, um Red Feather. Uh, well, publishing company. Viewing life from infinite angles. It's 25, so I guess you just look at this card any way you want to. Um, <laughs> Yeah, and just make sure you're looking at the details and pulling out what is it feeling like to you. So on this one, the upright meaning is offerings, mysteries of spirit, ritual, wisdom, and knowledge. In reverse, it's stating that all experiences have value. Success, joy, celebration. Card twenty nine. But yeah, I was drawn to it because of the color and it was just different. One, let's go to the book on this one so you can kind of see what it so they, it gives you the upright the card number the upright meaning and the reversal and she goes and you know it's a good hefty paragraph to read <laughs> for that Oh yeah, I think combining this with your own intuition, I think you're going to find exactly what you're seeking. Card mm So let me know below if y'all are going to get this deck, what y'all think about it. And that's what I try to do on this channel. I try to bring you a range of um, decks, you know. So like this one, this card upright means celebrating success, lessons learned, evolution, ignore the haters. And reversed. It means seeing things clearly, removing illusions. You have more power than you think. New adventures, new journeys. That's cute with the strawberry. <laughs> oh, yeah. Card number 38. Thirty-nine and forty. Okay. Now this card stock is it. It feel like it's gonna be pretty good. It's not that gloss, but it's like a um, matte finish, and I love it when they're matte finish. I can shuffle those better. like these you wouldn't need to shuffle so aggressively 
for a pop out, I feel like you would draw from this, but that's just my opinion. I don't know. I mean, I do know, but you just do it how you feel let do it. <laughs> the traditional size of the oracle deck um, yeah, easy to shuffle let me see should I pick a card for whoever is viewing right now oh 31 what is 31 we just doing a little sample just a little sample Um, divine inspiration, ideas popping out of thin air, cooperation, coming together, common goals, teamwork, accomplishing more together. So I guess this is more about teamwork makes the dream work, huh? I don't know. I'm not going to read that long paragraph. <laughs> All right. We are already almost 12 minutes in. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, so that's the creator. Oh, I like when they put notes. That's like a personal touch on it. And I love when they, a lot of decks miss this important part. Put the numbers on there, especially a new deck like this where I can know the page I'm flipping to. I hate when they leave that out. But, um... It's telling you how to use this deck. So this is beginner friendly. I don't care if you've never touched tarot. Because this is not tarot. These are oracle cards. Okay. So again it gives you the meaning of the card. And then it goes more into depth about that card. Gives you the upright meaning. And the reversal meaning on the back of the card. That's pretty self-explanatory. I'm going to go through the whole book. But yeah, it just gives you the upright and the reversal. Straight to it. <laughs> okay. Alright, so yeah, if you guys enjoyed this, go ahead and support these creators and go cop your deck the link will be below if you would like to get this deck and i'll uh, uh thank you if you're using my link like i just thank you in advance for that because you don't have to do that thank you for taking the time to watch and until next time